Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I thought that today it could be nice to film a video about uh, Nikolai frequencies. I heard uh, Lizzy from Lizzy Jones talking a lot about these frequencies, so it was my curiosity. And uh, yes, I really wanted to try them. And then I ordered one fragrance and I ordered also the discovery kit. So this is what we're gonna talk about. So the fragrance that I ordered, I think you already saw it if you watched my previous video, like my, um, it was in my August favorites, I believe, and it is Eau de Yuzu. So Eau de Yuzu is a really great uh, citrus fragrance. It has, of course, the note of yuzu, but also lots of uh, grapefruit. In the opening, it's a really strong and gorgeous citrus fragrance. If you love citruses, I think you, you have to try this one. And uh, it has also um, lots of pepper. So to me, it's, in that sense, it's quite close to Eau de Citron Noir by Hermès. So if you like Eau de Citron Noir, I think you'd like this one too. It's completely unisex and uh, really nice for summer. And uh, I was quite surprised because uh, usually citrus fragrances don't project a lot and don't have a really good longevity. But with this one, I was really surprised because it is quite strong. <laughs> I didn't expect that. So yeah, this is a really, really nice one. I was pleasantly surprised. Then I got the nice discovery kit with it for free. And um, yeah, we're gonna try the fragrances from the discovery kit. So uh, what you have inside is a nice box with all the little fragrances. So you have six fragrances in the discovery kit and uh, with the notes listed and the name of the fragrances. So I think this is really useful to have them here. And you have the main notes, I believe not all of them are listed here. And uh, yes, we're gonna try them in the order. So the first one we're gonna try is Patchouli Intense. So the notes listed for this one are lavender, geranium and patchouli. Let me grab a strip. Oh, I'm spraying everywhere. Okay. Oof, this is quite strong also. Yeah, I can feel that the, the patchouli is really strong, a bit earthy. Geranium is quite potent too. And the lavender for the moment is, um, is here, but it's a bit behind. It reminds me a bit of Beau du Jour by Tom Ford. I haven't tried the first version, but it reminds me a little bit of the second one. And uh, yes, I can say that maybe I, I enjoyed this one a little bit more. I don't know why I have a bit of chocolatey vibe with this fragrance, but I don't think it's in this in the notes or not even in the notes, I don't know. Maybe because of this earthy patchouli, sometimes this, it gives me this uh, chocolate vibe. Yes, this is quite a classic uh, masculine fragrance. But this is well made, I, I like it. I think if you like Beau de Jour, you would like this one. This is quite elegant, uh, clean, you know, this kind of clean fragrance. I kept on the side um, the, the fragrance that are already sprayed. It's not the first time that I'm trying them. And I kept the dry down. And this one in dry down, I get more lavender. And it was really beautiful. It was perfect. Lavender, this one is really nice, but it's coming through uh, really in the dry down. This is strange because usually to me the, the full notes are more in the opening and the patchouli is coming more after. I got the inverse sensation here. I don't know. Maybe it's just my nose. I'm just giving you. I'm just giving you uh, my impression. The lavender is already coming through a bit more now. But I like it. This is a nice one. The second one is Ambre Cashmere Intense. So this is this one, and it has notes of uh, black pepper, iris, and vanilla. And I don't know, it doesn't say amber, but as the name suggests, I believe it has amber in it. Um, okay, let's try it. Okay, to me it's a bit less strong. I, I can sense a lot of pepper in the opening with the iris coming through. I like the iris, it's nice, it's a nice one. 
I don't really get the vanilla for the moment. But I got a lot, lot of uh, black pepper. Still, it's pleasant. Oh, starting to, I'm starting to get some amber now. So I remember this one. I didn't really like the. I didn't really like it at the beginning because it was, the pepper was a bit too strong to me, and I couldn't really send the iris. I had it a little bit at the beginning, and then it was disappearing. But I smelled the dry down of it, and at the end I get really much more amber and vanilla, and it is really really beautiful, and just a little bit of uh, black pepper and iris in the background. And I really liked it, so um, it's a pity to me because I don't really like the opening of the fragrance, but after that I really like what it's uh, becoming. Uh, all the fra these fragrances that I got in the kit are called Intense, I believe, but this one to me is the weakest one, it's not really intense. Even if it has amber, it's um, weaker than my Eau de, de Yuzu, for example, or even the, the first one that I tried. But still it's nice. I believe this is something that would be nice for fall or winter. Okay, the next one is called uh, Musk Intense. And it's supposed to have notes of pear, rose and musk. Okay. So in, in this one, yes, the pear is really strong. Juicy pear, really pleasant. I can feel the, the musk also. But the whole gives me... I don't know, an impression of aldehyde also, it's not listed in the notes, but uh, I get something like uh, aldehyde and rose, and then it's giving me some Chanel vibes, like uh, number five or more on the uh, soapy uh, version of number 22, like the, the EDT, the first version. It's like um, number 22 with the pear on top. <laughs> This is what I'm thinking about when I'm smelling this one. This is really nice. I really like it. Uh, to be honest, I really, I'd really like to have a bottle of it. I like it. I'm not really into fruity or sweet fragrance, but this one is really nice because I really got this um, vintage vibe, I would say, with the musk and the aldehyde. The musk is really nice here. I'm quite picky about the musk. It's not always really nice on my skin, but this one is really full. And the rose also behind it's powdery, powdery rose, soapy with um, some musk aldehydes and the, the pear on top. I really like that. I like that one. Okay, I've just realized I forgot to put my mic on, so I don't know what you heard about the first three fragrances. I really hope that you heard me properly. Just in case, I'm gonna try to do something when I edit the video. I'm really sorry about it. So. Yeah, I was saying that I really enjoyed the, the Musque Intense fragrance and uh, that it reminded me of uh, Chanel and uh, with pear on top and that I really enjoy it and really, I'd really like to have a, a, a bottle of it. Okay, so the next one is called New York Intense and it's supposed to have uh, notes of uh, petit grain, black pepper and oak moss. Okay, so it's really green in the opening. It's really, really green. I did expect something more citrusy in the opening. But I have more greenness because of the moss, I believe. The moss is what I smell the most. And it is really pleasant. I have a little bit of petit grain behind it. Yeah, and the pepper, yeah. Maybe there's patchouli also here. I like it. I think this one is gonna attract more men also than women. It's typically more masculine, but... But I, went, I would enjoy wearing it too, I believe. Yeah, I like it. It's quite fresh, elegant, classy. Well blended, nice. Uh, all the fragrances that I tried from this brand were really nice blended. Uh, I think that the nose here, I don't know who's the nose behind that brand, but the nose is really, really good. It's doing, a, or she's doing a really, really good job. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the next one is called Fig Tea. Uh, yes, I remember that Lizzie was talking about that one. And uh, it has notes of osmanthus, jasmine and mate, which is green tea. And uh, yes, I remember I already tried that one. Okay, let me spray it. Okay, so strangely, but what I have in the opening to me, it's like a orange lemonade. 
So to me, I really do have something like um, orange lemonade. I don't know. I have something fizzy, um, sweet, uh, citrusy. And then I start to have the, the greenness and the milkiness of the fig behind, which is really beautiful. But in the opening, it's more like a Fanta orange <laughs> to me. But then the milk is um, going through it. Yeah, and this fig is quite green. I have lots of greenness. It's maybe because of the mate. So the same this one. In the opening, I was not really a great fan of it. But after that, I smelled the dry down. It was really, really beautiful. The, uh, it was, I could smell the mate more. So the greenness, the tea, um, the greenness of the, the green tea. And... Uh, the, the, the fig also was coming through much more, uh, quite sweet, but really beautiful. I, I like the dry down of this. But in the opening, it's um, quite disturbing, this uh, orange lemonade. This is really not what I expected, but I like it. Uh, enough to buy a bottle? I, I don't know. Maybe I would enjoy travel size. I would have to wear this more to see if I really do enjoy it and if, if it works also well on my skin. Because sometimes I have some, I don't know, surprise with fig. But um, yeah, this is a good one. Okay, the last one is uh, called Low Mixed. And it's supposed to have notes of mint, uh, juniper and vetiver, which are notes that I like. So, looks nice. So I think it's supposed to be a Cologne uh, for men and women because of the name. Oh yes, I, I have the juniper a lot. Now the mint is coming. A bit peppery. This is nice. I remember this one. I have the mint is coming through a lot now. I remember this one in the opening. It reminded me a lot of uh, what is it? You or someone like you by Italie Bordeaux Orange. Because I had this mint and this uh, citrus also behind. It has citrus in the background now. I don't know what the, the vetiver is. Um, really nice. I really like that note here. It has some, it brings some greenness, some freshness, some, some citrus also in the fragrance. It does have citrus, I don't know what, maybe grapefruit, it's not listed here in the notes. I like that, I really enjoy this one. And this is crazy because the more the fragrance evolves, the less I get the mint. So if you don't like mint, I think, you could be a bit repaired at the beginning, in the opening of the fragrance, but after that, let the fragrance uh, stay on our skin and the mint is disappearing totally. To me, at the end, I was completely amazed. Like, I could almost smell something coming from the Un Jardin collection by Hermès. This fragrance is so, so close, like it could be part of the garden. Uh, to me, it's between the Un Jardin sur le Toit and Un Jardin sur le Nil. Maybe a bit more closer to Un Jardin sur le Toit. And, uh, but it doesn't have the, the sweetness uh, of the, the Un Jardin sur le Toit. It doesn't have the pear and the apple note to me. But it has the rose and the musk in the dry down. Sorry for the noise, that's my cat playing around. It happens sometimes. Sometimes I have to cut <laughs> in the video because of this, but I'm too lazy now, so I'm sorry. Now we're gonna have a cat coming through. <laughs> yes. But this is one of my favorite, this uh, low mixed. This is a really nice one. I do enjoy this one. I would enjoy a bottle too. The only reason why I'm not buying a bottle is because I have the Un Jardin, the Un, the Un Jardin fragrances. And um, I think it's really too close uh, to that for me to enjoy it or to justify the, the to me to, to buy a full bottle of it. Um, yes, I have um, you or someone like you and I have also Un Jardin sur le toit. So to me, it's a mix of these two. Yeah, but this is really beautiful. I, I do enjoy that. It does remind me of Hermès, a little bit of Jean-Claude Elena DNA. This is really surprising. And the dry down is really close to Un Jardin sur le Toit. So same thing, if you like the Un Jardin collection, uh, if you like um, you or someone like you also, or if you don't like mint and you want to find a nice cologne that lasts, because I believe that this one has a good longevity to um, add the other fragrances. So you, I think you can try Lumix. This one is really enjoyable for men and women, I'm sure. Ah uh, yes, I really like it. 
No, I cannot justify the, the to, to, to buy this. Oh, yes, but uh, I really like it. So if I have to choose in these ones, my favorite ones, I believe my favorite one would be the, the Musk Intense and the uh, Omixed. This one I really like too. And after that, hmm, I don't know, the Patchouli Intense and New York Intense. I'm sorry, I'm pronouncing them this, uh, the French way. And so the, I don't know, the Patchouli Intense and the New York in Intense. To me, they are more masculine, a bit more to me, but it, not that it bothers me to wear masculine fragrances, I do it, but I don't know, they are more on the also barbershop side of fragrances. I don't know. They are more typical masculine, classic masculine fragrances, and it's not really the type of fragrances that I'm wearing. So, I don't know, I would say these two. The fig one is nice, but I would have to try it on my skin. And uh, maybe I would gonna have a nice surprise with the Ambre Cashmere and Intense. I think this one I should have to wear it also on my skin because the vanilla is coming through at the end. It's really beautiful, the, the vanilla of this fragrance. But to me, the problem is that I don't smell it more at the beginning. And I would like the iris to stay and the pepper to be a bit more in the background. But that's my taste. So, well, I hope that you enjoyed my uh, review of this uh, fragrance. So it was a short review. I've just tried this once for the moment. I'd really like to try this brand more because I really enjoy what I tried for the moment. Uh, I saw that they had the oud uh, fragrances. And they have uh, also Eau de Toilette, uh, Eau de Parfum. So the intense version are coming from the Eau de Parfum. A few Eau de Toilette here also in the pack. They have some uh, Eau Fraîche or Eau with the Eau de Yuzu, uh, which is really nice. So yeah, I just want to try this brand more because I really like that. I really like the, the work of the nose behind this. And uh, so tell me if you have tried these fragrances, if you have tried the Nikolai brand, what do you think about them? If you have some recommendations for me, maybe. And uh, I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye.